Hi, Claire here from Wrangle, and today I'm going to walk you through how to design a Wrangle workflow. Wrangle is an app that helps you manage common, repeatable processes for your internal teams directly from Slack. Today we're going to focus on workflows, but we also offer ticketing inboxes in Slack. If you're interested in learning more, check out the videos linked on screen and in the description. Uh, but to start, I want to focus totally on workflows and show you how to create one from scratch. So I've got the Wrangle Slack app open, and from here I'm going to click Wrangle Dashboard to open the Wrangle web app in a new tab. And next I'm going to click on View Workflows, or this Workflows button over in the left sidebar, and then Create Workflow. Now we have a template gallery full of pre-built templates you can use and edit to suit your needs. Today we're going to start fully from scratch so you can see exactly what goes into creating your own workflow. So I'm going to click blank workflow and then give this a name. So first off we start with our intake form. These are the questions that we're going to ask our requesters to fill out anytime they submit uh, one of these requests, in this case for an expense report. So I'm going to add a form question and maybe the first thing I want to know is their name and a short description of what they want reimbursed. And then next up, I want to know the amount of what they are requesting reimbursement for. So I'm going to use this number input, which is going to only accept numeral characters when our requester fills out this form. And then next up, maybe I want to know the date of the expense, so I'm going to use this select a date field. And then maybe I want to give some broad categories of different types of expenses, um, just so I can track how many types of requests we're getting for each category. So I'm going to create a new question and I'm going to do select from a list. And we'll do expense category. And maybe we'll just say like parking, food, and travel for now. And we'll say next, we wanna know who their manager is in case we need their approval. So we're gonna use this select a person or people question and just say your manager. And then um, finally, I'm gonna add one more question here. We're gonna do upload files. Uh, maybe if we want our users to um, upload a receipt, uh, we can do that here as well. All right, so here is our intake form. We've got these questions. This is what are, we're going to ask our requesters to provide us before we even start uh, working on this reimbursement. And so now, next up, like I mentioned before, we can have a manager approval. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a step here over here on the left, and then I'm going to choose add approval. So I will name this manager approval and who should be assigned to this approval. We've got a few options here when we're assigning steps to different people. We can either search for a user if we want this to go to a specific person every time we use this workflow, or if we want to assign this dynamically, we can either assign work to the completer of a previous step so if we wanted to ever assign anything back to our requester in this case, we can use this or we can use our people chosen in form option here. And that's what we want to do. So I'm going to use people chosen in form and then we're going to choose that question that we just set up for your manager. And now whoever the requester puts in that field is who we're going to assign this approval step to. And then we just need to choose a channel where we want to post this workflow step. So next up, we have some other options. We can set up due dates and reminders. So if we want these to be taken care of within a certain time period of either the workflow itself being started or uh, before or after a specific date, we can do that here. So if I toggle this on, uh, you can see before or after a specific date. So like maybe if we wanted something to happen three days after the date of the expense, we can do that. Or what I'll do here is just leave this as is, where we'll start reminding people within one weekday of this workflow being posted. We can also use conditional logic, 
where uh, we could only run this step under certain conditions. Like let's say we only need manager approval if an expense is over $100. So we can do exactly that. Only run this step if the dollar value of what we need reimbursed is greater than or equal to 100. So if that's the case, we will get the manager approval. If not, we'll just skip this step entirely. All right, so now after we've gotten the manager approval or after we've skipped it, if it's a lower dollar value expense, uh, now we want to actually reimburse the employee. So I'm going to add a task list. This is going to be like a checklist that we post in Slack um, for somebody to check off uh, any individual tasks that we set up. So I'm going to set that up now. We're going to call this reimburse employee. I'm going to send this to the same channel as the first step. So this one, we'll keep it simple. We'll just make it one task. We just need to log that reimbursement in our payroll software. And I'm going to assign this to uh, specific members of our uh, finance team. And then let's say we need to do this within four hours of this workflow step being posted. And then finally, we can also add another form step apart from the intake form. So if there's any data that we want to capture from anyone later on in the workflow process, we can do that. So I'm going to add step and then add a form. And let's say we just want to have whoever reimbursed the employee let us know when that employee can expect to see uh, that reimbursement on their next paycheck. So we'll call this confirm reimbursement date. We are going to assign this to the completer of a previous step, and we're going to assign this to whoever did the reimburse employee task. Add this to our channel. Give us that reminder. And then we're going to do select a date. So we'll just do the date of the upcoming paycheck where we can expect to see that reimbursement. So now we're ready to save our workflow and start testing. To see both the requester and assignee experience for workflows, check out the videos linked on screen as well as in the description. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions or would like to learn more, check out this support page here on our website. We have links to our help docs, to our video library, as well as multiple ways to contact our team for help. Happy wrangling!